Hey everybody, it's me, Bayla Stray. Welcome back to my channel. I know I shaved my face. This quarantine got me going crazy. Everything's being done from home. And I feel like I'm losing track of time. <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about RuPaul's Drag Race season 12, episode five. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the episode starts and they're sad Rockham left. They're still kind of attacking Aiden for being saved. And next day in the workroom, and they have a mini challenge, and whoever gets the two pink pills um, are the captains for the challenge. So it's a game of luck or production. Gigi and Nikki were the winners. They were actually able to pick people's characters in the main challenge, which was a acting challenge for Gay's Anatomy, a Grey's Anatomy spoof, and the episode was kind of just a lot of like talking and really about nothing. So then Rue does his walkthrough and then the girls go and act out the scenes and then it's runway time. So on this episode, I'm really just gonna focus on the runway and the challenge. And the category for the runway was capes, capes, capes across the board. Cape it work. So first Jada came out, I really enjoyed her outfit. It was this really big shoulder moment. It was pink and the cape was the same materials that it came off of it. And then under she had like a full bodysuit, which was like a little nude illusion with pink everywhere. And Britta comes out, this, this might be one of my favorite looks from her. And she comes out in this red lingerie with like attached skirt. And Jackie was giving a very religious moment, I would say. I really enjoyed the jewelry and the accents pieces more than the actual outfit itself. All right, then Jan came out, and you know what? I feel like she was a lot capable, or a little bit more. And I would have really liked to see something more exciting from her than what she presented on the runway. And she was doing it very playfully, but... She did not cape it work. I really like Gigi's look. I feel like it could have used a little bit more color. I know the hair was like the color statement piece, but it wasn't even bright enough, you know, to be really the statement piece. But overall, it was nicely constructed. And then Heidi came out and I was like, yikes, that's really basic. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, mm -mm. and I didn't care for Crystal's look either. I don't know what it was about it. Maybe it was like the color matching. It was like a very light pastel yellow with purple, like an excess of chunky jewelry, flowers on the head, very like signature crystal. But I did not like that dress at all. And then Aiden came out giving a very Valentina I'd like to keep it on kind of moment with his little butterfly. Widow, I didn't really care for her cape or like the green in general, but that pink suit she had under was everything. Like I was like, yes. And then Nikki came out doing the reveal. It was a really cute futuristic moment. That's all about all it was though. And then they showed their finished product for Gay's Anatomy. And I actually enjoyed that. And it was really good. So I can't say anything bad about it. And so Jackie opened up with a monologue. I really liked her monologue. It set the mood of the whole show. And Jada, to me, she came off a little bit nervous in her acting. Jada, like in, in the beginning scene, it sounded like she was just doing a voice and she wasn't actually just talking naturally. It really came off like she was playing a character. And Gigi was, of course, Gigi good. Nikki thinks just because she did her makeup like Pearl, she was being funny. But Nikki, I didn't really enjoy her baby. It wasn't that outrageous. Like, I feel like if you're a baby, and especially just the head, you could be out as outrageous as you want. Like, that's how Darian Lake won the headless person in season six with his acting challenge. But it was all right. She was funny, but she didn't, like, super stand out. For Heidi and Crystal, I feel like their characters could have been anybody and they kind of just played it safe. And literally I didn't make one note about Jan and I kind of feel like she just fades into the background and she never does anything to go over the top. For the second time in Drag Race history, there was no winner. Jada, Britta, Heidi, Crystal, and Nikki were all on the bottom. I could see why Heidi and Crystal were on the bottom. Jada, like honestly, she didn't do the worst. Like you could see her nervous. Michelle said she looked like she was thinking of her line. And Britta, they just are asking for more for her. And I didn't care for Crystal's dress, but they seem to really love Crystal's dress. And then the question is, who do they think should go home? Most of them said Nikki. And Nikki even said herself, and I feel like if you're gonna say yourself, like you're sending yourself home. Like, why would you even do that? The bottom two end up being 
Nikki and Heidi. Um, the lip sync was for a uh, Kim Petra song. You know, it was gonna be iconic. You know what? Nikki was serving face the whole time. Like, she really served it. Like, that face. You could tell that there was so much emotion behind Heidi's performance. Like, you actually felt her performance. So I was like living for her. Like even when her wig fell off, she was like, she was in action mode. Heidi rightfully stays. I feel like this episode was actually kind of good because Gay's Anatomy was actually good. But I feel like Untucked had a little more fighting where they all were again attacking Aiden and Aiden was standing up for herself this time. Even Jada was like, like you interrupted me to talk about yourself. Like, but Aiden just was like, no, I'm gonna ha talk about myself and tell you guys that I don't care what you think about me. So that was cool of Aiden for standing up for himself. And again, of course, Britta was like, I need to step it up. I'm gonna step it up. I'm I'm here to win I'm here to win but she's always in the same position well I feel like Britta's gonna go pretty far in this competition like because she's not doing that bad like but she's not doing that good like I bet you there'll be a lip sync Britta versus Aiden and even in Untucked Heidi was just like popping off too she's like you know fuck you fuck you fuck and fuck your mom so untucked was actually good this time around like because i feel like untucked's been very boring all right so that's it for my recap thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe all that other youtube stuff so bye babe